today we're going to install an upper pressurized power steering hose on a 2007 Honda Odyssey. Alright, I have the uh, replacement hose here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to cut these with a razor blade, slice them. and slice them uh, because they're going to go in the brackets mm, this one as well not to slice this one open this one up and slice this one and we're going to take off the sensor all right let's make sure that one still has the seal make sure this one has the seal perfect it does all right, sweet. So that's the only things we have to remove off of this one to install the new one. Oh look, this one already has it. And it has that one. Nice. So we just need to remove this one from here. And it looks like this one's sliced from the bottom. So we're gonna have to slice this one from the bottom as well. Uh, sweet. That's the only thing I see that it needs. Just a sensor and one of these. And Small bracket that we're already taking off. Boom, just like that. Just like that. Bracket replaced. Sweet. So now we just gotta slice one of these up and replace that and remove this sensor here. Alright, we have our razor and we're just gonna slice this up. Alright, there it is. We're just gonna throw it on to this replacement hose real quick there it is boom shakalaka all right so we have both of them there now we just got to remove the sensor right here all right and we're going to be using a 17 millimeter to get this sensor off i got you sucker i got you sucker sweet so now we're just gonna screw this off real quick Ooh, it's nice and good. Put on the new one. All right. Grab a wrench. Tie it back down. All right, cool. Should be good enough. All right, once you have your hose ready, you're going to go ahead and insert it just like so. Everything is already laid out for you. So this is going to go right in here. Just like this. Down here. And just work it all the way down. You might have to get underneath so you can see where everything is going. Can't see shit. Sweet. So let's uh, lift the car up real quick. All right, in this Honda Odyssey, you have a jack point right in the middle underneath the car. Right there. That's where I jacked it up. Put some jack stands in the back just for safety. All right, now that we have our line running from the top, we're going to go from the bottom and run it completely. All right, once you're underneath the car, after you're past the line, you're gonna wanna connect the line to its place right there. Go ahead and do that real quick. See if I can do this single-handedly. All right, I got it in, but just how to get it in or I'm sorry, just how it was the pain to get it out, it was the pain to get it back in. Now that I got it in, I just gotta screw it all the way in there. Probably you don't have any room, but oh, that's fantastic. Drop the tool, found the tool. Let's uh, 
This job is really a pain in the butt. Let's see what I'm talking about. It's not as easy to drive it in as it was to drive it out. Alright, so I'll be right back. Alright, so here's the brackets. Oh, I'm dropped it. There's the one that's gonna go right there. Let's see if I can get the camera in here. Oh, great camera, but no light. It's gonna go right in there. That's fantastic. Then there's another one. That's gonna go. <laughs> fantastic. You cannot see it over here. Right in here. Right here. All right. And then we have the sensor that's going to plug in. Let me try to get the light over here. Let's see. Cool. All right. Here we are. Okay, cool. So there's that one. And then the other one's right there. And the sensor is right there. So we're gonna plug in the sensor. Let's figure out which way it goes. Figure this out real quick. You kind of see it, not really. There it is. Sweet sensor is plugged in. Now we just gotta put this tight down the clamp here, tight down the clamp there, and then also finish driving this one in. I just wanted to show real quick how, um re-tightening it up since it was hella tight. Damn guys, it's not gonna let me. It ain't gonna happen. Alright. Trying to get the idea with the hammer. That bitch should be hella tight. Alright. Looks like it's all the way in. Sweet. All right, so now that we got everything in here tied down, the sensor plugged in, I'm gonna grab my light and let's get the hell out of here. All right, after we remove the jack stands, go ahead and just lower the vehicle nice and slow. All right, now we're left with the clamp back here. Can get some light in there. Cool. All right, so it's gonna go right there. There it is. All right, here's the clamp. And we're just gonna put in the screw in there and bolt it down. There it is. Just 
Gonna drive it in there. All right, now just finish driving it off. All right, and then we're gonna remove our cap here. Once we have our cap removed, we're gonna remove this little paper we put in there and put the hose in there. Wiggle it back and forth and press it down. All right, now we're gonna get our screws, 10 millimeter screws, put them where they go. Gonna drive them in real quick. Then we're gonna finish them off by hand. Alright, everything's in place. Push that down a little bit. That's perfect. Sweet. Now, what we gotta do is put on that cover. Just like so. This right here goes with that hole right there. Same thing with this one here. You can see it's missing that screw there. You can use a flathead to tie that up, or you can use your nail. There it is. Sweet, you're done. The only thing we gotta do is add some power steering fluid. There it is, because it's completely empty. And you should be done. All right, we're just gonna top it off with some pressed on power steering fluid. Radiator fluid and shit. Alright. We'll go ahead and start the van. Van has a lot of miles. Dang. Wow. Don't worry about Chippe. Boop. Wow. Still runs like a champ. All right, now you just want to make sure that nothing is leaking there or down there. Looks pretty good from here. You just do have a lot of uh, power steering fluid on the exhaust. That's why it's burning all this uh, fluid. But after it's done burning all that, it should, should be good. <laughs> it should be good. Oil everywhere. Try to do my best to prevent it. Oil everywhere. We go to uh, down the street and pressure wash the motor. That will really, really help. Uh, but other than that, you're pretty much done. Put that back on there. All right. Add a little bit of more car steering fluid. Whoops, you want to be careful not to drop any. And 
are set. Yes. Ooh, just clean this up real quick. Nothing to cry about. Just a little spilled oil. There's freaking oil everywhere. Godly. There's oil everywhere. Alright, sweet. Well, that's how you install the power steering upper pressurized hose on a 2007 Honda Odyssey. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. Alright, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.